Hey, I'm Andrew Comstock, and today I'm going to show you how to make a dinner plate out of plaster. Why would you want to make a dinner plate out of plaster? That's why. Plaster dinner plates are a great prop for the Gorilla Filmmaker. They're very easy and very cheap to make. Uh, you just need a few simple ingredients, plaster of Paris, which is available at any hardware store, and water. And then we have a uh, plastic bowl that we're going to use as a mold. I have here some uh, commercial spray lubricant that we're going to use uh, just to coat the inside of the mold that's going to help the plaster release from it once it's dry. Uh, a couple other things we need is uh, just a few mixing buckets to uh, mix the plaster in. I also have a stir stick. Over here I've got some drying racks. Uh, once the uh, plaster sets up, we're going to take our plates out of here and just let them sit for a couple hours just to fully cure. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is prepare our molds here. So I'm gonna take some of our commercial uh, spray lubricant here, and I'm just gonna give this uh, just a very light coating. That's just gonna help that plaster slide out very easily. Okay, so we're starting out with our plaster of Paris and our water. It's important that this water be cold. Uh, we're gonna be going for a two to one ratio with this mixture. That is two parts plaster to one parts water. After you get the uh, plaster out of its container and you put it in your uh, bucket before we mix it, I'm just going to go ahead and stir this up with my stir stick just a little bit. I'm trying to get any clumps in the plaster out. I'm going to go ahead and measure out our water first. So I'm going to start off with uh, two cups of water. Okay, so I have two cups of water in the mixing bucket, so I'm going to use four cups of plaster. And I'm just going to very evenly shake this in. I'm going to go ahead and start to stir this here. I want to get all the clumps out. I want a nice smooth texture. And when you mix plaster, as soon as you mix the water and the plaster together, you're going to start to get a chemical reaction. So you've got a very limited working time with this stuff. Uh, just in a couple minutes, it'll start to set. So you want to make sure you have everything ready to go. And now all I have to do is just pour it into our mold. And I want to pour just enough to kind of cover the bottom of the mold. I don't want these plates to be too thick because when we're breaking them over to people's heads, I want them to break easily and not leave a bruise. Okay. I'm just going to give this a couple taps right here just to get any uh, air bubbles out. Okay, so now we're going to let these sit. It usually takes about 30 minutes for the plaster to set. Uh, it's going to heat up, and uh, once it feels kind of uh, cool to the touch again, you know it's ready. Okay, so our plaster's been curing for about 30 minutes, and these are ready to take out. So what I'm going to do is very carefully just put my hand on here. I'm going to tip it upside down, and it should lift right out. Uh, once we throw a little paint on this, this is going to look a lot like a dinner plate. Uh, you'll notice I got a little roughness around the edges. I'm going to take a little bit of sandpaper and I'm just going to just very gently around the edge. And once that's smooth, I'm going to put it over here on our drying rack very carefully. And I'm going to let that sit overnight to fully dry before I paint it. Meanwhile, in an abandoned garage. All right, are you ready? You can't put the water in here outside. Okay, our plaster plates are all done. There's only one thing left to do. This, son, that, son, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Beat that down. Boogie.